Dr. Nicholas Thackeray, a family doctor in Port Elizabeth, South Africa, and welcome to the first episode of Word Doctor. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay on the beat with every episode. I'm looking forward to the journey and I hope you will come with me and my team as we bring you wisdom in health and life. Our first series will be called SHIELD. For all you Marvel fans, that doesn't stand for Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement and Logistics Division. But we are going to be dealing with real superheroes the superheroes of your immune system. Your immune system is your shield against a jungle of microscopic beasts and pathogens like bacteria, fungus, mold, and what is on most of the world's mind right now, virus. When I compare your immune system to superheroes, it's no random choice of words. In the cellular world, your immune system is super. However, unlike in some Marvel movies, these superheroes don't fight in twos and threes and fours, but as an innumerable army. The hero of your immune system is the white blood cell. In one small drop of blood, there are around 10,000 white blood cells. The white blood cell is a microscopic machine in every sense of the word. It has an onboard computer called the Nucleus. It has cellular manufacturing, has communication systems, repair processes, and even a power plant that produces its own energy from oxygen and nutrients in your blood. These cells can be trained in the body to be infantry or gunners or special ops or even cellular intelligence. The captain of the immune system is the T helper cell which coordinates and activates troop movement on the battlefield. The hulk of the immune system is the monocyte, which literally doubles in size to become the macrophage, which engulfs and swallows every foreign invader in its path. The immune system's ammunition is the hailed antibody. Moms, take note. The important difference between formula milk and breast milk is that your breast milk has these crucial bacteria and virus fighting antibodies to build your baby's immunity. My mind has literally been blown by the complexity and intricacy of the immune system. If you are sitting here today and you are alive, your immune system is functioning reasonably well and we can be grateful for this amazing defense system that God has given each one of our bodies. The intelligence of its design inspires me and I hope that as I share my knowledge in a way that is relatable and understandable that you will also share in my wonder. On the other hand, as a doctor, I have seen how devastating it can be when a person's immune system is offline from diseases like leukemia, which is a cancer of the white blood cell, and AIDS, which is caused by HIV. Diabetes also affects the immune system, but in a less severe way, but as it is a very common condition, it warrants some treatment in this series. In this series, I will share ways in which you can manage these conditions and what the symptoms are so you can pick them up early in yourself or in your family. Your immune system is a vital organ. You cannot live without it. We will also discuss proven ways to strengthen your immune system by doing things that will show benefits not only for your immunity, but also for your overall wellness. Here on Word Doctor, we are people-centered, not body-centered. What I mean by that is that we see a person not just as a body with an immune system, but as a physical, emotional, and a spiritual being. I'm a doctor who loves to provide scientific facts, practical wisdom, and truth from the Bible. Ultimately, as people, we don't only need protection, against the dangers in this life, but also the dangers in the next. We need a shield that will keep us from worse things than death. Proverbs chapter 30 verse 5 states that every word of God proves true. He is a shield to those who take refuge in Him. Through this series, I hope to unpack some of the richness and relevance 
of this message of God to us. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for all those that are watching, that they would find their refuge in you and that they would find protection from the dangers of life and death. I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. If you would like to reach out, please email on media at peoplecenter.co.za. Head over to our social media pages to follow our discussions around World Breastfeeding Week and Cancer Care Week. We want to hear your questions and comments, so let's talk. See you soon and stay safe.